Welcome to our lecture online. When we take a look at the title here, it says find a line perpendicular to a given line. They're not asking for find D line because there's no such thing as D line. There's an infinite number of lines that can be perpendicular to this line. And we'll see in just a moment what that means. Well, it is important that the slope of the second line that we find is the negative inverse of the slope of the first line. Now, we it doesn't matter if we call that the first or the second line. So let's call this the second line. And so we can call this y equals m2x plus b2. And we're going to then plug the slope in here into here, which means that the slope of the line we're looking for can be found using this equation. So m1 is going to be equal to minus 1 over m2, and m2 in this case is going to be equal to 2. And so we're looking for a line that has the general formula y is equal to m1 x plus b1. And notice that we have found m1 by using this equation. All we had to do was plug in the slope of the second line in here, and that gave us the slope of the first line. So that means that the line we're looking for will have the form y is equal to minus 1 half x, plus b1 and now notice b1 can be any number it doesn't matter because we know that no matter what value we plug in for b1 the slope of this line will always be the negative inverse of the other slope of the line of the other other slope of the slope of the other line that's what i was trying to say all right so let's graph this and see what it looks like so here's our y-axis here's our x-axis and notice that the intercept is 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, right there. And the slope is 2. That means rise of 2, run of 1. 1, 2, 1, 1, 2, 1, so forth. So then if we connect these dots right here, notice that this line represents that equation, y equals 2x plus 4. So we say that this equation is this line right there. Now, let's find this right here. Now it doesn't matter what b we use, we can let b equal 0, and if we do that, if we let b equal to 0, right there, we'll pick that point, so we're going to let b equal 0, then notice the slope will be negative 1 over 2, so negative 1 over 2, negative 1 over 2, like this. So we go down 1 over, over 1, so down 1 over 2, down 1 over 2, that's down 1 and over 2, and notice we get these points right here, and if we connect them, we get a line that is perpendicular to our first line. But again, we didn't have to pick b equals 0, we can pick b equals 1, we can pick b equals 2, and in each case we'll end up with a line that would be parallel to the first line, but perpendicular, I mean parallel to the line that we found, but perpendicular to the other line. So all these lines, regardless of what b that I pick, they will all have the same slope, and therefore, they will always be perpendicular to the initial line that was given. So, give, given that, we can say that y equals minus 1 half x is a, good, uh, is a good equation that's perpendicular to the first line, or y is equal to negative 1 half x plus 1, or y is equal to negative 1 half x plus 2, and so forth. It doesn't matter what we call b. All of those are lines that are perpendicular to the given line. And that is how it's done.